What is up, you Horners? It is me, your host, once again, Jeremiah Duncan. Welcome back to the channel. Today's review, occasionally I have to give you one that lets you down. One that I have to warn you about to not watch, okay? This is one of those ones. I'm talking about the 2016 release of Freshwater. Yes, it's not rated. It runs at an hour and 23 minutes, and I'm giving it a 3 out of 10. It is not good. If you haven't heard of this movie, let me tell you why. Be afraid of what you can't see. Lake Charles is the idyllic spot to catch some sun and enjoy the tranquil miles of fresh water. When a group of 20-somethings meet up at their island lake house for a weekend of partying, one of the friends never shows up. As more lake visitors are yanked underwater but by what seems to be a giant, uh, some giant alligators, the screams bring the group out of the lake house, frantically discovering their boat has drifted away. They have to watch helplessly as more of their friends are pulled under the water. Will anyone get off the island alive in one piece? Something more sinister seems to be at play here. So... It gives the vibes of the sci-fi movies, of the horrible CGI, um, and it's just it's not good CGI. Not to the point where you know that it's bad on purpose, like that they were trying and it's bad. Uh, I mean, and it's an albino alligator, and it just looks awful. I mean, awful. The acting was okay in it. I mean, it wasn't the best, you know. I mean, it's still a B movie. Um, but honestly... Cinematographically, uh, cinematographically, cinematograph. I don't know. That's tough. The cinematography of the film was actually really good. It was shot very well. So shout out to the director and cameraman because it did look good. It's just that CGI man was bad. The only reason that I didn't give this thing a two out of ten was because there was actually a twist at the end that I didn't see coming. Yes, I made it to the end, but there was a twist there that I didn't see coming that I was like, wow, okay, good story writing twist, wasn't expecting it. Spoiler alert, which I'm sure you're not going to watch it, but spoiler alert, turn this off if you don't want to know. The sheriff is actually a serial killer who feeds the albino alligator. Definitely didn't see that coming. And that was a pretty cool twist, so shout out for the popping up to three. But still a bad movie. I think it's going to be on my top ten, as of right now, worst movies I've watched in 2023. So kudos to that. Talk about Freshwater. Three out of ten. 2016, not rated. If you've seen it, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What other Gator movies have you watched that have been trashed? The only ones I know that are great is Sewer Gator. Shout out to you all. You killed it. But that one's supposed to be fun, and it was. Like, subscribe, hit the death bell for notifications. I got more reviews coming to you daily. See you.